Hey everybody, uh, so today we're going to take a, a quick look at how to automatically demo elements within a uh, model group. Now, uh, the reason why uh, I looked into this and, and how we could possibly automate this is because I got a question uh, from somebody and I couldn't handle it so another BIM person jumped on it, uh, figured it out and uh, within model groups uh, you know they had to uh, individually uh, demo each element so in this instance we have doors so they would have to demo each door if they wanted to demo all of group two so if they wanted to demo each door in every one of these instances of group two the model group two they would have to demo the door one at a time now if you're familiar with uh, model groups that's not you know, uh, typically how a model group would work, it, uh, the idea of a model group is you, you create an instance of it that you can modify or you can modify any instance of it and it'll update in every other instance so that you don't have to um, individually update each of these uh, rooms, essentially. You could just update one and they all update. Uh, to give you a visual of that, if we go into a model group, um, move that door, finish it you can see it updates in these ones as well uh, the ones down here uh, model group one they don't because this is a separate model group um, so the idea is that they update in all of them now the functionality and why uh, you it doesn't demo in all of them is probably because if it did you know if I came up here and click this demo button which you'll find on the modify tab if I click on this and then click on the door then if it if every one of these doors got demoed and i only wanted this one to get demoed the only way to get around that is to ungroup this or make another group and then demo that so you can see where it could get really annoying so um the way that in the way that uh, uh autodesk or revit intentionally built this was um was to have it uh, demoed individually uh, every uh, every instance of a model group so I would have to go through and click every single door now um, the reason uh, I got the question originally was because they were having issues demoing uh, the door and if we go into the model group you'll see uh, that issue they were having so if we grab this door and do the same thing we can uh, click this button to demo it or we can scroll down here and change the phase demolish to existing and uh, we can look at it and see that it looks cool it looks all right uh, there's no problem we click finish and then we get a, a problem or get an error if we expand that you'll see there's an issue with the infill um, uh, it's not meant to you you're not meant to go into a model group and update that now what you can do on the other for other elements is you can um, update like the walls so we can change that to a demo and it'll it'll be fine now uh, you'll probably get the same uh, error that we did with the door with the window um, with a window so if you go into it and try to to model it or set it to a demo it'll uh, you know automatically uh, give you that error because of the infill now uh, so what you would do is externally outside of the group you would just demo that instance so we grab that door and we're good to go um, so again you know it, it's the the way that that works isn't the same is a is a model group you know if you update an element within a model group it updates in every instance of that model group demoing or or phasing not the same so the way to get around that if you needed to demo every single door so let's say in model group one we need to demo every single door uh, down here uh, then we could do that by you know selecting this and then uh, selecting each door in every instance of that model group four not a big deal that is probably very easy to do but um, if you have four thousand or you know a few hundred um, or just you know 10 or 20 uh, that could be annoying especially if it's on multiple levels um, you could see where you'll cons it, it would consume some time so what I'm going to show you is um, 
a Dynamo script, very short. It's a very easy script. We're going to look at that, and um, you can follow along. And if you follow along, you can build it. There's one a package associated with this, or you can download uh, this this Dynamo script. Uh, below you'll find a link to my OneDrive. Just find a folder that has somewhat the same name as this Revit file or this video, and then just go in there and download the Dynamo script. Uh, in this Dynamo script, there is one package, so make sure to download uh, Clockwork for Dynamo 2.x. Uh, and or whatever version if you're using dynamo one which um at this point uh, i i don't think you would be but if you are i'm not sure if even group members is in there uh or this node but um if you are having any issues you know you can reach out to me or just leave a comment um so uh what we'll do is just walk through this script you can build it while we're going through it uh or you can just download it and and kind of check it out uh that way so we'll start off with grabbing the, the model groups category and then what we're going to do is just get all the elements of that category and that'll give us a list of the names so we now have uh so this element.name node will give us a list of all the names and then i use uh, that to just quickly group these into a dictionary and so this list dot group by key will take the key value so it sees that okay we have four group ones and we have four group twos we're going to combine all those which is the key value so you'll see now we have only two key values we have group one and group two because uh, you can't really have the same key value over and over again so it groups them together and then it takes the elements over here and the elements all elements of category list and then it puts the corresponding um, elements within the group so you can see all the group one elements which is these four here are grouped in list zero under group list and then and then same for the list one all the groups for group two are listed in list one now what we do there is just turn that into a dictionary there might be a better way to get around this um, being that this is a dictionary but um, this is what I do what I'll, I'll do is take the unique keys I'll tie it into the key value and then take this and tie it into the values and then that gives us a dictionary output and then we can run that into a dictionary value at key and the reason why we're doing this is um, you know we are we now that we have all the elements grouped we can filter down to specific elements within a group or specific instances or not specific instances but specific model groups and so in this instance we want to do group one which is the one um, at the bottom so if I move this over it's the model group one we want to change all those doors so we'll type in uh, for the key value group one and you'll see over here what that key value is so group one list and then that way we get all the elements because that's what this dictionary node does is it returns all the elements based off of the key that you input so in this instance group one so we get these elements over here now I run this list unique items node over there I pull that from the element dot name um, I could probably also run a, another node that gives us the output of key values so I could take the uh, the key value so you know we'll just go ahead and do that so dictionary So now we have, uh, this should give us a list of keys and we should get the same as what we got here in the list unique. I'm going to freeze everything after that node. And then now we have group one and group two. So these are two different options, but the idea is that it'll show you a list of all the uh, groups within the model. And then um, you can use that to type in what it is that you you want to update so in this instance we want to update group one and so we just look at this list and say okay um, group one so we'll just type that in in this code block I'm gonna delete this node because I think this looks a little bit better um, with that dictionary dot keys node now I'm gonna unfreeze this node and so this gives us all the values from the uh, dictionary or the um, the list uh, group one list 
So it gives us all the values for group one. So that'll give us every instance of group one. So every instance of that model group that's placed in the model, that's what that list is. This node, which is from the clockwork package, will give us the elements within those groups. So you can see uh, there's quite a bit of elements. Uh, there's four lists, and within those lists are the four walls in the uh, um, model group, and then the door associated with that model group, and then it goes on uh, in each list like that uh, four times. Now, looking at this, you can see that they are different model, so they're different element IDs. Uh, the reason is because um, they are different elements technically. Now the instance is um, it's it's kind of like type parameters, or, or if you if you um, if you would, it's you know it's you can place a bunch of elements everywhere, and they're all different, but they can be you know kind of controlled by a type. And so same with model groups, you have a model group uh, that can be controlled, uh, or the instance of that can be controlled, and then. Um, within it, it has its own elements, but they're all controlled by the overall um, group. So over here, we have the element.name node, and that'll give us a name so that we can actually search for a, uh, um, a specific element within one of those, within, within one of those uh, groups, or within all of the groups. And then uh, for this instance, we want to do the uh, door so I can simply do a string dot contains and look for 76 which will give it the 76 by 2.26 and then um, this will give us a, a boolean list of just falses and trues so you can see here true um, that lines up in each instance of the, the list it lines up with this list giving us the fourth um, item on that list or the fifth item on that list as true which is the door uh, and then over here this filter by bool mask will give us an output of the trues and false. It keeps the list structure. So you can see here we have, uh, you know, in this list we have still four lists uh, with only the door elements within those lists. And then over here to the right is where we actually set uh, the parameter. Now the uh, in here we have the element that we put that we plug into here. We have the parameter name that we're doing, so that's going to be the phase demolished. But over here, um, this input is a variable, so it could be anything. Uh, and in this instance, for changing the phasing, or when it's the phase demolished, we have to use select phase, and not so we can't just type in a uh, value there. We can't type in existing because it's a string value. It's actually looking for a phase element. And so we have to use select this select phase node, set that to existing or whatever phase, and then we run the uh, script. And so I'm going to move this over. And so the idea is that all four of these doors will turn, um, they'll look just like we see up here, so they'll be dashed. Um, so let's run this. And you can see it went through and it grabbed each door and it... Um, uh, demo them so they're now all been demoed in the existing plan or in the existing phase so there you go uh, that's how you automatically demo and you could get really creative with that uh, you could go in there and start to you know if you have a whole bunch of elements within a group and uh, you want to grab specific things or a group of specific things you can use parameters to grab those items in this instance We only use the name so we just searched for a name, but you could use Parameters you could use uh, you know the uh, other you can use multiple names I mean, there's a lot of different ways that you could do this you can filter elements in a whole bunch of ways Let me know if you do more with this or extend this even further let me know if there's other options out there uh to do this as well um but i thought this was a really simple and easy script uh, for folks that are newer to dynamo i think this would be a fun one just to check out and, and play around with and hopefully it could be used within your firm or whatever um but anyways you'll find that below uh, you can download it or you can kind of follow through while i'm uh going or while i'm walking through it um, 
you can create the script that way or you can just do download it from the OneDrive which you'll find below there's a link to my OneDrive the folder will be the same as or somewhat the same as the name of the YouTube video just find it and then download uh, the script from there um, if there's uh, you know if you have any issues feel free to, to leave a comment or reach out to me and I'll, I'll be glad to help out and I appreciate your time like subscribe if you want to see more I try to do two videos a week uh, sometimes it's really hard to do that but I try uh, so you know feel free to if you want to see more you know subscribe but thanks a lot for watching guys see ya